Hello again, welcome back to another YouTube video, where this one is going to be the final video in the three-pack saga, and it's obviously the integrated suit Spider-Man. Now, maybe this is a bit clickbaity, but I'm not customising this figure, I'm customising the original release, um, which the only difference is the grey lines that are in the copper pattern, um, but you can see that I've got a spot on mine, which I just want to get rid of. So this is just 1000 for sandpaper. Um, and the video is obviously sped up, but you can see just how easy it is to kind of get this off without damaging the figure too much. But the QC on this figure wasn't great. I mean, no one really wanted this figure anyway, out of the three pack. But you can see all the web lines are kind of off-centered and everything. This is the YouTube short of the original release single pack figure. Um, you can watch that separately if you want, it's got different sounds, but I've just chucked it in here so you can see what I did. Um, there's not a whole lot to commentate because it puts everything on screen for me. Uh, so this was also a stop motion. Basically repainting the black, which you could do on this one because it's blue as well, and then giving it a darker wash, which you can see here. You could also do the red wash just to try and tone down those grey cobwebs. And those are the custom hands that are 3D printed. The files for those are linked in the description below, as well as all the other 3D stuff that you see uh, coming up later. One thing worth pointing out. The gauntlets are inaccurate. If you want to do a very simple like upgrade, you can just pull those off. Going straight back to just basics, hot water, dunk them in for a bit, pop the head off. And then I've also got this Tom Holland head that I'm going to be customising because this video seemed a little bit short, so I wanted to do something a little bit more interesting. Um, because I plan on using this for stop motion at some point, you ideally want to be able to take the heads on and off quite easily. With Marvel Legends you end up kind of putting a lot of force into taking these off, which just shakes your whole setup. So I'm just cutting off um, a little bit of the ball joint, or the socket I mean, just so it can come and like just pop off easier basically and sit back on without having to move so much. Um, so I've just removed the dumbbell there just so I can get easier access to cutting this little bit of excess plastic out. Uh, do be very careful doing this, don't cut towards yourself like I am, it's very dangerous. Um, I'd recommend using a cutting mat. You can see this little bit flies off, it stays there for the rest of the video because I didn't notice that it was on screen. Um, but with that done, and I did take a tiny bit of excess plastic out as well, uh, from just the circumference of it. You can see how much more range you get here, we'll go over the full range at the very end of the video as well. So now, as you've seen with the other past two videos, just dunk him in some hot water to try and loosen the feet up a bit. They come off quite easily on this figure compared to the other two. But once that's done, I'm also going to cut his calves off so we can get that boot swivel in. Just takes a scalpel blade, especially if you've heated it up a little bit, it makes the plastic quite a bit softer. And now we've got those off, I'm just going to drill uh, the holes in, trying to make sure they're centered in each piece. That's 3mm uh, steel, cut down to size bit more hot water to make it easier to push in and there you go these are quite seamless I'm actually really happy with these these turned out to be the best of the three that I've done so far and it works very nicely so the final thing for upgrading out like, the main body of the articulation I'm going to draw straight through these feet which is very difficult to do and so was the cutting just because of how thin these feet are that's a piercing saw or a jeweler saw it basically means I can cut without having to um, drill holes for direction because I've got a smaller blade on it. Now that's 1.6mm steel and you can see running that through the hole there you've now got the hinge. Fairly simple uh, but you can see because I've already painted I've now just brought it back down to that original orangey red so I'm going to do a few more washes on it just to kind of tie it back in. It's still not perfect because obviously you end up washing the whole area but I did also paint the black on the bottom of the feet as well to make it that little bit more accurate. And you can see he does exactly what the figure um, should have done to begin with. I always like when a Spider-Man figure can do that pose. It kind of shows it's got the correct articulation to it. But you can see from just doing that, I've kind of scratched up the plastic. Because this weird sharp point on his hips. Simple fix. I'm just going to cut it off. And you can see that it doesn't make a whole lot of difference to like the look of the figure. But you can get it up much higher, less worry about paint rub. Now, with that being the actual figure finished... This is a Tom Holland head from the upgraded suit, I think, uh, or Iron Spider. I want to make it match the movie. So first thing I'm going to do is just cut that quiff off the front of him. I don't think it looked good to begin with. And sanding it down, I'm going to cut all this bit away. 
and then using the burrs and like the little excess plastic that came off from sanding, I've glued that back to his forehead to make like this weird wet hair kind of effect, which actually worked quite well. Uh, I've taken his eyebrows off here as well, just so I can repaint them because I didn't like them. And I've not shown a whole lot of the painting process, I realise, but this is basically just red um, and purple paints that I've done to get this effect. Just a little bit of dry brushing over him, um, also a dark brown for the hair and the new eyebrows. That is essentially it. Um, if you want another video like similar to this, I can do a YouTube short on painting faces. But yeah, this is very simple in all honesty, and I think it just looks so much better than it did originally. It adds so much to this general figure. Again, figures like this should always come with an unmasked head. I feel like Spider-Man, especially the MCU stuff, needs an unmasked head with it. Just up close you can see how nicely this turned out, I'm very happy with it. You can see all the paint that I used on my thumb as well. Um, I use my thumbs like a palette when I'm mixing paint sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, overall very happy with the final look of this figure. And you can see getting into the poses that he's in. Uh, I believe this is the same pose that he's in for the very final scene of No Way Home. I couldn't get the um, video up quick enough to like do the poses. I'm fairly sure this is very close to it. But yeah, just it works so much better like this very happy with how it turned out. Now utilising all the stuff that we've given him, you can see just how much better this looks with all the upgrades like the articulation, the paint weathering, the new head sculpt. Gets into some very, I don't know, like characteristic uh, poses, very characteristic of Tom Holland's Spider-Man. Yeah, it just I'm very happy with how this one turned out. I think this might be the best one is in like a uh, movie look. Here's the thumbnail photo. Uh, out of the three, I think between this and Toby, it's quite a difficult mashup between which one I painted the best. Um, I think the head sculpt on this one looks the best out of all three. So articulation wise, you can see head goes up all the way now. Head goes down a lot more. Um, does leave quite a big gap, but I'm not too bothered by that. Great side side pivot. That's the head articulation sorted. Go down to the hips. Leg comes up so much further. I don't actually know what the point in that spiky hip is. It gets in the way too much. Uh, boots with all, which we've already gone over and then the toe hinge. Now comparing it to the original figure or the three pack figure which is essentially the same it's just got darker cobweb lines. I just I think this looks so much nicer. Like, I just, I don't understand why they went with the dark blue. Because it's always been black. There was no need for it to be blue. It shouldn't have been grey to begin with. And then they should have made it black. But for some reason they went with the dark blue. Don't know what the plan for that was. But, yeah, it's just, it works so much nicer like this. Here you can see it with the other two that I've done. Um, with all the hands working. Uh, these are all 3D printed hands that I've done. Uh, again, link to the description below. You can get these for yourself. Uh, I think I've got them listed for $8 on CG Trader. So if you've got a 3D printer, it's a fairly viable option. Again, these are better with the uh, upgraded suit Spider-Man. Because that's what the meme was taken from originally. You've got the two figures here from the original releases of the movies. The Toy Biz and the Marvel Legends. And then this is the 3-pack set. Um... Yeah, that's all of this done. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you do enjoy this, stick around. I've got a lot more uh, Spider-Man content coming. Um, a lot of you aren't subscribed, so if you do watch majority of these videos, maybe consider it.